So here we are and we got parameters in front of us. So parameters is another name for arguments of a function. And here we have a function foo. It has the parameters or arguments uh, string and number. So arg1 is a string and arg2 is a number. And it returns nothing. So in TypeScript, that's colon void. And you can see here that we get the parameters of a function by passing that function, but putting type of before it. Type of is a way to like tell TypeScript that this is not a type only thing. Now this is like a runtime thing and we're referencing it in order to get the parameters. So we click take challenge there. All right. So we have foo. This is the one we saw from the example. Bar has arg1 and arg2. arg2 is an object with a property a and a value uppercase a, also void. And baz doesn't have anything. There's another one. Isn't it like foo bar baz like quack or do you know the sequence? I'm not sure. It's, it's, been a, it's been a minute since it I did that. It goes like there's like buzz. six more of them. And there's, I don't know, they don't follow that three letter pattern. There's like, there's like a... Anyway, <laughs> chime in into the content in the comments if you know. So here's the cases. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, I think, based on what we were talking about above. So yeah, Rob, how would you how would you approach this? What comes to mind? So taking a look at this, looks like we want to uh, we want to grab the arguments. So now we need to take a look at t. This is going to be a function. So let's let's check if it's a function. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs to return something. I guess it doesn't really matter what it returns. Yeah. And then if it's not a function, we'll return never. So in our uh, affirmative case, we need to somehow grab these parameters. Yep. So we can collect them all into an array. I'm going to move you on like to the next line this. here. And then... There's a infer keyword. Ah, infer. And kind of grab all of these things and then let's see if this works. Yep, looks like that works. They all pass. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we use the infer keyword. We infer you and then we return it. So this is a this is a thing like usually uh, what I like to do is anywhere I put any like switch it to unknown and see if all the t uh, test cases still pass. They do in this case. So I guess we can leave it like that. Um, that was the only other thing. So I looked online to see other examples of people doing this. And that was the only difference that I saw that some people would mm -hmm. put any there. Um, you can also, you can also do, uh, let me grab this. So I want to tell, uh, or show another quick example. This passes all the same tests, but it's different in, uh, this way that it has, uh, it has a restriction on the generic. So up here, there's no restriction. So you could theoretically pass, like, you could say, like, my parameters, um, my parameters, like, you know, whatever. You could pass that here. It would return never. So that's that's good. But really, you want to protect against that. And one of the ways to protect against that is to throw this restriction in there. So if you do that, then, oops, extends. So if you do that, then it's going to say, hey, uh, type string does not satisfy the constraint of being a function, you know, basically. Uh, I think you can also say, like, function. Yeah, that would be probably better because it's more clear that it doesn't really matter what's in the function. Yeah, that's, a, that's an I'm example. I'm not sure if it does because the function, let's see that, yeah, the function interface is just something with a name in it. Oh, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. all? F12 into What? It. Okay. <laughs> so then, okay, so then this would this would fail if we, uh, we don't want to save that. Let's go back. Um, yeah, it's this, much oh, like you wouldn't it. want okay. to X. But anyway, much yeah. Much like you wouldn't want to extend uh, uppercase object. Grab. I can put all that stuff back here. So, yeah, it would, uh, you're saying that if you did this and then you added uh, type X equals uh, my parameters name uh it then it's happy oh wow Absolutely. every day okay I need functions to stop are using. objects i need to just stop using the function keyword then okay well anyway that's how you do that's how you grab parameters this is a super useful thing and you'll see it throughout typescript uh all the time so very often you'll you'll address a, a function so like i might come over here 
like let's just grab it. Um, so forget about all this that we were doing now, and let's talk about what it would be like, uh, kind of normal daily usage. So um, you might do something like that, and then say, um, why is parameters not accessible? Parameters. parameters. There you go. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, this is foo. Oops, let's take foo because foo. Yeah, foo has a second thing. So like you can index into those just like an array. So you can say foo, the first one is a string we just saw. You could also say number, and you'll see there that it gives you a type that's a number. So if you want to grab a particular parameter at a particular position, you can do that. Um, any other thoughts, Rob? Seems pretty useful for uh, your old school Redux action creators. <laughs> um, long live Redux. All right, on to the next one. <laughs>